Ducati Super Sport is back, aimed at plugging a gap in Ducati's lineup missing since the model was discontinued back in 2006. The revival is positioned as a more accessible cousin of its Panigale line, something you could take to the track on Saturday, tour with on Sunday, and ride to work on Monday without significantly compromising comfort, performance, or the brand's MotoGP-inspired styling. That's a lot to ask out of one motorcycle. To find out how well the new Super Sport works in various riding situations, we took the model for a spin in Spain at the Circuito Monte Blanco and the country roads outside Seville. All 2017 Super Sport models get a 937cc, 113 horsepower engine, anti-lock brakes, quick shift technology, traction control, and three digitally calibrated riding modes. The standard model will hit the showroom floor in April with a base price of $12,995. For the track portion of our test, we focused on the $14,795 Super Sport S, which brings a fully adjustable set of Olin's shocks front and rear. The S also comes standard with the Ducati Quick Shift DQS technology, a $289 upgrade to the standard Super Sport that allows for clutch-free gear changes. 2017 Ducati Super Sport As we throttled the bike out of the pits, the Super Sport's first notable trait was its excellent low-end pull. 80% of the bikes to work is available at 3,000 revolutions per minute, and the bike surges up and forward with a growl as soon you twist the right grip. The technical Circuito Monte Blanco course and my riding background created a good trial for the Super Sports performance meets accessibility proposition. During the first track session, the bike was easy to ride, responsive and forgiving where my lines and braking in tight corners were definitely inopportune. The Super Sports anti-lock brakes, traction control, and nimble maneuverability helped me correct for mistakes without any brake lockups or embarrassing white line crossings. On the track straight I banged the Ducati through all six gears, finding more comfort over 130 miles per hour than anticipated. The motorcycle delivered an adrenaline-satisfying stream of power, while feeling